Today we're going to look at one example on linear quadratic regulator. Let's have a quick review about what we did from last class. So we derived finite time linear quadratic regulator by following the Pontryagin procedure. So we started with the, the Hamiltonian H include these terms and we obtain the optimum control which give us a relationship between the control and uh, the cost lambda and we apply the boundary condition this is for a finite time the time is fixed and uh, uh, the state is free so we apply the boundary condition we find the lambda at a final time is equal to f final time times x final time by following this form we assume lambda is equal to a matrix times x uh, similar to this form by under this assumption, we can get an optimal control that is equal to, we replace lambda by px, it will be a negative r inverse times b transpose times p times x. Then we solve for this p, and we get this differential equation. And this is called a matrix of differential or Riccati equation. p dot is equal to negative pa minus a transpose p minus q plus pb r inverse b transpose p. And there is one boundary condition to satisfy p at a tf is equal to f at a tf. So this is uh, what we got from last time. Let's uh, put this into a procedure about uh, how to get a linear quad a quadratic regulator. So this is the problem that we're dealing with. x dot is equal to a t x t plus b t u t. And uh, a, b, they can be function of a uh, time t. So this is a time varying linear system. The performance index is giving you this form uh, with the, the terminal cost plus this form. And the reason that it has this shape is that it's a, called a regulation problem. We want to control x to zero. And if you want to solve the problem, the first step you need to find out what this p is. So this p has to follow this uh, metric differential Riccati equation. We solve this differential Riccati equation that will give us a matrix p. If we know p, will know the optimal control and also the optimal state. The optimal state is obtained by putting this optimal control into the state. Yeah, the optimal state is over here. The optimal state is x dot star is equal to ax plus b times this u is given in this form. u is equal to negative r inverse uh, b transpose px. That's what we have. Negative uh, b times u, u is a, a negative r inverse. Uh, initially it was a plus b u, right? Now it becomes a minus b times r inverse times b transpose times p times x. After we get the optimal states, we'll be able to get optimal control. And optimal control that is equal to negative kt times x. This k is equal to r inverse b transpose times p. So the only thing that we did not talk about is the optimal performance index. This is summarized in a theorem, uh, so we did not derive that. You can find the detailed derivation from the textbook. Let's look at one example. In this example, we have a double integral system. x1 dot is equal to x2, x2 dot is equal to negative 2 x1 plus x2 plus u. You know the initial condition x1 at 0, x2 at 0, and the performance index is giving you this form. And we're going to obtain the feedback control law. So let's see how we uh, solve this problem. According to the procedure, the first step is to find a p. And this p is found from this uh, matrix differential Riccati equation. Step one, solve the matrix differential Riccati equation. The Riccati equation, p dot is equal to negative p a minus a transpose p minus q plus that. I'm going to show you how to solve this by using MATLAB. I have the Riccati equation here, and it's of this form, and I need to know what are these metrics are. So what is our A matrix? A matrix is from the dynamics. The dynamics can be written as x dot is equal to A times x plus B u. Because we have two states, A matrix is 2 by 2. And the first row, we do not have x1, but we have uh, x2, so that's why it's 0, 1. And for the second row, we have negative 2, x1 plus 1, x2. The B matrix, we only have a 1 control, but we have a 2 states. 
So that's why B matrix is a two by one. So the row is a, the number of states, the column is the number of control. So the first row has no control, that's zero. The second row has a control with a coefficient of one. That's how you get an A and a B matrix. What is the Q and R? So the Q matrix is uh, the matrix related to the states. Q is also two by two matrix. And what should I have here? I have a two X one square. So I need two here. And I also have a five X two square. That's a five. And the coefficient for X one, X two, that is six. And that's why I have a three here. So the coefficient for that is a half of the, the coefficient for X one, X two. And what is my R matrix? And we only have one control. That's why R is a scalar. R is 0 0.25. And what is our terminal cost of function, FTF? TF is a 5 in this problem. What is F of 5? Because we have two states, and F is also a 2 by 2 matrix. Tell me what is F of 5? F5 come from here. What is here? It's 1. About here. That's 2, right? About here, 0 0.5. So we find out all these, and we need to solve for P. So we're going to use my left to solve for P. So the A matrix is a 0, 1, next to 2, 1. And the B matrix is 0, 1. And the Q matrix is a 2, 3, 3, 5. And the R matrix is 0, 0.25. And the F is a 1, 0, 0.5. And a 0, 0.5, 2. The initial states the 2 and the next to 3. And uh, uh, the initial time is 0, and the final time is 5. See if the TF is equal to 5. And we know P at the time TF is equal to this uh, F matrix. Now we'll solve this differential Riccardi equation. When you solve a uh, matrix differential equation, you need to put that into a column vector so that you can solve all, all these elements. After you solve all elements, you convert it back to the matrix form. That's how we find the matrix P. And the differential Riccardi equation is uh, used as a, a subfunction. And this is subfunction is uh, defined here. So I will need to reshape P to be a two by two matrix. The dP dt is equal to negative PA minus A transpose P minus Q plus PB, the inverse R times B transpose times P. After you get the differential of that, you put that into one column vector. The integration will give us time t and a matrix p. Each p matrix is in one row. And at the same time, we solve it backwards. So we started from tf because the value of tf is given. But we are solving the problem from tf to t0. And then we reverse the time to name it a pp. Whenever we use the, the matrix p, and we will need to reshape that row to the 2 by 2 matrix. And this matrix has to be the same size of a matrix A. After we solve that, we'll be able to find optimal control. And optimal control is related to X. So we need to find X first. And X is found from another differential equation. So that is in step two, we're gonna find an X. And this optimal state is found from here. X dot is equal to A minus B times that. We need to solve this differential equation we are going to use ODE45 again to solve this differential equation. We will need uh, the matrix P. Solve the P already. We put that in there and we write the differential equation. The differential equation is A minus B times this. So we can solve this differential equation that will give us optimal states. Then we can get optimal control after we get the states. So step three, we're going to get optimal control. And the optimal control is given here. So that's how we solve the problem. Let's see the results. So you run the code. So we know which one is uh, x1, the other one is x2. x1 at the initial value is uh, 2, and the other one is negative 3. 2 and negative 3, and eventually goes to 0. Let's also plot the control. Plot time t, and the control here is given as a uu. Let's put the title of that as a states. I forgot to create a new figure. I'm going to create a new figure to do that. If we apply the control signal, this will be the state that we're going to get. Then we'll copy the results, put that into the results section here. So this is the states, and this is the control. 
that's all for today.